Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to demonstrate design and simulation of a buck boost converter in PCM. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it. Only then you will get the videos that we post regularly. Alright, let's get started. So this is the circuit diagram of a buck boost converter. So it is basically a DC to DC converter, which is the combination of a buck and a boost converter. So in case the supply voltage is 40 volt, we can increase it, and that corresponding mode of operation is boost mode. And if the voltage is 40 volt, and if you reducing output voltage lesser than 40 the corresponding operation is buck mode since buck and boost both is possible with respect to this type of circuit it is called as buck boost converter so what is the design procedure with respect to this circuit so uh, we are assuming certain data with respect to the design so every data every design will have a certain uh, uh, assumptions or certain requirements so based on that requirements we will be designing the circuit so we have v out to be equal to 50 volt uh, designing it for 50 volt output voltage supply voltage is 40 volt and uh, the switching frequency is 25 kilohertz and the power rating is 75 watt so we are basically designing the circuit for a power rating of 75 watt and an output voltage of 50 volt how do we achieve this so uh, it's very clear that 40 volt is the supply and 50 volt is the output that means it is boost mode of operation so how do we achieve this so let's look into the design procedure step by step at the first place we have to determine the duty ratio how do we find the duty ratio it is given by the formula v out is equal to minus vs into d by 1 minus d substituting and solving you'll only be taking the magnitude into consideration you will be getting d is equal to 55.55 percent so uh, if it is lesser than 50 percent then consequently buck mode can be achieved if it is greater than uh, 50 percent then boost mode can be achieved so step 2 is to determine the inductance value so l min is given by the formula 1 minus d whole square into r by 2f substituting these values that uh, are there you will be getting 132 micro henry so we are assuming 25 percent larger inductance just to uh, ensure that the current is continuous throughout the circuit so we basically want this to be operated in continuous conduction mode as a result we are doing that so you'll be getting l min to be equal to 165 micro henry so very very important assumption that needs to be made otherwise whatever you calculate that might not be sufficient for the current to be continuous as a result we are choosing greater than or equal to 132 micro henry so assuming 25 percent larger it does not cause any harm so practical design will be like this so uh, step 3 is to determine the capacitance value how do we determine that c is equal to d by r into delta v out by v out into f substituting so assuming ripple of about 5% you will be getting uh, the value of capacitance as 66.60 microfarad so once we have found out inductance the capacitance value uh, and the duty ratio this basically solves the requirement with respect to the circuit but one of the most important steps with respect to PCM there is a block called as gating block and that will be responsible for triggering the switch that we use so uh, here we have the duty ratio in percentage but there it will accept the value only in degrees so how do we enter that there there should be suitable conversion to be made isn't it so 100% duty cycle corresponds to 360 degree then what does 55.5% duty cycle correspond to it will be 199.98 how did I get this 55.55 into 360 divided by 100 you will be getting this so in PCM it does not accept decimal values that is uh, 199.98 cannot be entered let us assume it to be closer to 200 so 200 degrees will directly enter in case you enter a decimal value in the firing angle block what happens it will throw you an error while simulating and that's why we don't do that so once we have the design procedure clear we will now be able to simulate the circuit in PCM so let's go to PCM and get started off with our simulation so here we are in PCM so in PCM we have the feature of dragging and dropping the components that we want so in case you don't have this uh, taskbar you can go to these sections and categorically select the components that you want you can also add that as a shortcut over here in the taskbar so uh, at the moment I will be requiring a DC voltage source uh, and uh, we need a switch I'm using MOSFET as a switch uh, instead of uh, using a thyristor because we need another commutation circuit in order to turn them off and that again increases the complexity of the circuit and that's why we're not going for that so once that is done uh, we will be requiring a diode in this particular direction and uh, a capacitor uh, so you can basically rotate the components uh, by right clicking on your mouse and uh, we need a resistor at the load terminals in the in this particular fashion so once this is done we will be uh, connecting these components according to our circuit diagram so be very very careful while uh, connecting the MOSFET because um, if you are uh, having the connection in the opposite direction then there are chances that uh, you will be not getting the output so be very careful while connecting it so once that is done uh, we'll be connecting uh, the resistor uh, with respect to the source terminals in this particular fashion inductor at this point and capacitor at this point we also need a gating block in order to trigger the MOSFET so I will be connecting that as well 
uh, now we will start entering the values according to the design procedure so the supply voltage that we have chosen is 40 volt uh, the with respect to the gating block as I explained earlier the switching frequency is 25 kilohertz and uh, the switching points is uh, up to 200 degrees so this is what I explained previously so we have to enter it in terms of degrees so once this is done the inductor value that we have chosen is 165 uh, micro Henry so choose 165 uh, U uh, the capacitor value that we have chosen is uh, to be equal to 66.60 micro so 66.60 U and once that is done the resistive load uh, that we have chosen is 33. 33 so enter that value as well so uh, we need uh, input and output measurements uh, of the output voltage and the supply voltage so we will be using voltage probes for that in this particular fashion connect it across the supply terminals and connect it across the load terminals in case you want to carry out the entire analysis of a buck push converter and you need the current waveforms as well connect ammeter over here ammeter probe in series with the circuit where you want to measure the current for so uh, i guess we have entered all the parameters with respect to our circuit one of the most important uh, criteria or one of the most important aspects of our simulation is simulation control block that basically controls the simulation process in PCM. so let it be as it is so time step will automatically be changed according to our circuit so click on ok and once that is done you can click on run simulation you, if you see uh, there is uh, a time step uh, information that it has been changed to 8.88 into 10 power minus 6 so click on ok and select the val variables that you want to check the output waveform for and click on ok once that is done, we can zoom in a specific portion of our waveform in this circuit. So I'll be zooming this portion. Uh, it takes some time to settle after the transients. So I will, uh, if you carefully observe, the supply voltage is 40 volt. Now I'll zoom this particular portion and it is having ripples with respect to 50, minus 50 volt. That is our output voltage that we are decide to have is minus uh, 50 volt. Uh, while calculating duty cycle, I mentioned that uh, the negative value magnitude is taken. So over here, if you calculate, you be getting v out in terms of negative value as a result you will be getting minus 50 and you are getting exact value these are the ripples this can be further eliminated by choosing suitable value of capacitor so this is exactly what we want with respect to the output waveform so i hope uh, the simulation of a buck boost converter uh, in pcm is understood you can try it for buck operation as well by changing the duty cycle and designing the inductor and capacitor value according to it so uh, in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below uh, if you like to contact me you can contact me through uh, electronicsmedia gmail.com thanks for watching this video uh, if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching bye